Welcome back to Hardball. We're talking about the president's big decision today to commute Scooter Libby's 30-month prison sentence. Senator Joe Biden, who is a presidential candidate, has sent out this email to supporters urging Americans to, quote, flood the White House with phone calls tomorrow, expressing their outrage over this blatant disregard for the rule of law. Uh, there's also been reaction from another possible 2008 presidential candidate, Fred Thompson. Fred Thompson said that he is happy for Scooter Libby's family. It is worth pointing out, however, that Fred Thompson voted to convict President Clinton on obstruction of justice in the president's Senate impeachment trial in 1999. Joining us on the phone is uh, Libby blogger Marcy Wheeler, who's the author of Anatomy of Deceit, which provides a sort of count-by-count -count ex explanation of this entire case. And Marcy, you know the ins and outs of the evidence in this case. What did the president say today that was incorrect? Oh, well, I mean, the president said that uh, the sentence for Libby was too harsh, but then he did away with the entire sentence. So starting from there, pretty much everything he said about this is incorrect. Marcy, what's the, I mean, there's been a sort of explosion on the blogosphere, uh, but, I mean, how do you think this, this goes? Doesn't the story just die down now? I mean, I don't know too many people, with all great respect for all the terrific work that you guys have done and for your book, Anatomy of Deceit, it's still a very complex story. It is a complex story, but what it, comes down to finally is that Vice President Cheney ordered Scooter Libby to leak classified materials. After receiving that order, Scooter Libby went and leaked Valerie Plain's identity in a CIA leak, a CIA report to Judy Miller. Um, Vice President Cheney did that, he, he told Libby, with President Bush's approval. When Vice President Cheney was trying to exonerate Libby later that fall, he said, the president, and crossed that out to protect the president, but he said the president basically asked Scooter Libby to put his neck in the meat grinder. And that makes it clear that the two people that Scooter Libby was protecting with his obstruction were Vice President Cheney and George Bush himself. He has every legal right to commute Libby's sentence, but he is clearly obstructing justice and obstructing the investigation into his own role in the outing of Valerie Plank. Marcy Wheeler, author of Anatomy of Deceit and also a blogger in the Libby case. Craig Crawford, how